Hi there, so I just wanted to do a very quick follow-up to this slot machine concept based on a suggestion made by a viewer called Let's Motion, who also has a YouTube channel with uh, some nice little motion tutorials in it, and I'll put a link to that in the comments. So his suggestion was, why not use circle instead of sphere? for the replicator shape. So let's try that. So I'm going to switch to circle. So bear in mind, we need the 3D switch on. I'm going to zero out that Z rotation there. Obviously we need 10 points because we've got 10 numbers. I'm just going to turn off my foreground so we can see the result. So here we've got a circle that's facing us. So clearly we need to turn it through 90 degrees on Y, so we come to Properties. Let's zero out that Z rotation, we don't need that. Let's enter a Y rotation of negative 90. And then let's come back to the replicator. And here under Angle, we're going to enter positive 90 for X and positive 90 for Y. And then we've got effectively the same result as before. But the reason that I like this is that instead of having to animate the, the rotation like so, what we can do is we can come back to the replicator and we can animate the offset. So I'm going to apply a ramp to that, just as we did in the previous one. And I'm going to set an end value of 100. And now you'll see we start at zero, And at the end, we get back to zero. And that's very nice. So effectively, each of our 10 numbers can be defined by this percentage value. So 90 for the end value will give us one, 80 will give us two, 70 will give us three, and 50 will give us five, and so on. So I think that's actually a little bit more elegant because it's much easier to work in terms of that percentage than my suggestion, which is working in terms of degrees. In every other respect, this gets you to exactly the same place, but I think that is a nice little bonus. So thanks to our friend Let's Motion for the suggestion, and I hope to see you again another time.